My name's Charlie uh, and I'm a law student at Victoria University of Wellington. So typically I'd get up at about 6, 6.30, go for a run, do some training. Um, this morning, for example, I did a cycle followed by a 10k run. Usually I don't do this um, by choice, it's because I'm training for a half Ironman in December. Um, so just need to get those hours in. Then I make some breakfast and then stroll on down to law school. Um, I live about 10 minutes away, so it's a nice walk past the beehive and everything Wellingtonian. Cool, so this is my um, third coffee of the morning already. Uh, every law student I know of is pretty much addicted to caffeine, but it's good, I can go off it without the shake, so we're, we're fine. So today is a little bit different. We have our ball, our annual ball tomorrow, which is really exciting. There's a lot of preparation at the moment. We're handing out some tickets, people are coming into the office, um, and being president involves that day-to-day -day kind of contact with students. We also have our candidates forum today, which is essentially electing the incoming executive for ULIS for 2018. So I've got a lecture coming up, commercial law, followed by the candidates forum at 12.30, um, and that's followed by another lecture for maritime law. This is GBLT1, which stands for Government Building Lecture Theatre 1, and this is where we have a lot of our lectures, especially the bigger lectures. The smaller lectures are held actually inside the old government buildings in Lecture Theatre 3 and 4. Um, today I'm actually having my commercial law lecture here, which is really exciting, uh, and all the core papers are held here as well, so you've got torts, crimes, public, and contract are held in two streams in these lecture theatres too. So tonight I'm just going to get a few drinks and catch up with one of my friends. Um, I haven't seen her in a long time and I used to play water polo with her. We're going to go check out this place called Two Grey, um, which is a new restaurant that's just opened. It's a really nice day in Wellington, which is a very rare thing. Not often is there sunshine and no wind, so hopefully we'll seize that opportunity. So at the end of a long day, I'm really happy to come into one of our favourite restaurants, um, have a bite to eat and maybe a glass of wine and just relax in preparation for our big ball tomorrow. So this is the ball, the final result. We've worked really, really hard for this. Um, we're really excited to see it all come to fruition. It should be a really good, albeit quite late night, um, but I'm really excited to see what lies ahead. The theme tonight is New York. Um, we have Central Park over there, and we've got the Empire State Statue of Liberty behind me. Um, everyone's put so much effort into tonight, so I'm really excited to see how it goes. So I'm originally from Auckland, um, which meant that uh, inherently I wanted to leave Auckland because I wanted to get out of home for a wee bit, find myself, all of that kind of thing, even though I was quite a strong personality um, at high school. Wellington seemed like the obvious option because of the centrality of, of the city, as well as the ability to be so close to Parliament. We're literally sitting in front of the Beehive right now and the political kind of atmosphere is growing and I'm really into po politics too. Um, so that was a massive pull. I also got a scholarship, so I was very lucky to get a scholarship to Wellington, but unfortunately missed out on the uh, other place that I was looking at, which is a scholarship to Sydney. But in Wellington, you can do your conjoint degree for law and arts uh, within five years, and that's essentially what I wanted to do. Uh, I also came here at the end of year 13 with one of my uh, best friends, and we just fell in love with the city because it's so vibrant. As I said before, it's like a political hub. Um, it also has the judiciary, the main Supreme Court, Court of Appeal here, so it just made sense for me to come to Victoria. 
So I do a conjoint degree of Law and Arts. I'm in my fifth and final year, as I said before. Um, my Arts degree is made up of English Literature papers and Politics papers. It kind of gives me a bit of a release from the um, wraths of Law, because Law by nature is inherently quite competitive, um, and you have a lot of the same types of personalities around you in the kind of Law School building. So going up to Calvin and studying my Arts degree kind of allows me to exercise my sense of freedom, especially with writing, uh, whereas law is more prescribed. Uh, the law degree, however, is really interesting and it does give you a set of, of skills to analyse certain cases, certain ways, to write in a specific way, um, and it does open your eyes to different areas and facets of the law um, that make up our our system of, I guess, governing too. So both the degrees I really enjoy. Um, as I said before, my BA is kind of my enjoyment degree. The legal degree is, um, is more kind of a prescriptive. Wellington's really cool in terms of all of the stuff that it has to offer. Um, a lot of festivals which are on all the time, quite like an alternative, vibrant atmosphere. If you're lucky enough to have access to a car, um, there are some incredible walks and beaches around here to get out of Wellington. As well, of course, you've got the craft beer, which is delicious. Beervana is on at the moment. Um, you've got your Wellington on a plate as well. There's a lot of food and cafes. So it's really cool in terms of the amount of stuff that's just constantly going on uh, in Wellington as a city. If you're interested in hearing more about the world's top universities, don't forget to subscribe.